Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Loki, and I'm back with some more Samba Night, Holy Night. We're going to continue the story. We're almost to the ending here, so let's keep going. These last ones have been much longer than I wanted, but it's only because I'm trying to beat them before the event actually ends. So, as always, we're going to go in here. Hmm. The her, ruler, huh? I feel like that's specifically telling me I shouldn't go and keep getting Bradamante as my tag team partner. But you know what? That's not gonna happen. I'm gonna pause and wait till I find a Bradamante friend. Found him. Alright, let's go. Oh, kick it. So, this is it. Yes, these last seven days have been somehow... These last seven days have somehow felt both as if they went on forever and flew by in an instant. But either way, one thing I know for sure is that they've been tremendously fulfilling for me. Even with my pride and power stripped away, I've been on a new journey ever since to that you gave ever since you gave me that bread without seeking anything in return. Thank you, Loki. I can't tell you how grateful I am. That goes for all of you too, Mash, Lord Foe, Coach Martha. Thank all of you so much. I promise you all I'm going to win. And I'm going to pay you all back tenfold. <laughs> Good every single time. Olé! My Santa is on top form today. I can also make promises of victory, yes? But before that, there's something I'd like to say. No, something I need to say. I'm sure none of you have forgotten, but it is my fault this whole mess happened in the first place. I'm so sorry you had to go this far to help me clean it up, Master. And thank you. I promise I'm going to settle things today and make sure we all go a proper Christmas. We all get the proper Christmas. And to put a stop to this ridiculous spectacle the others me came up with. What? And put a stop to this ridiculous spectacle the other me came up with. I can't help but wonder, how proper can Christmas really be when it's being held by a Samba Santa? Fuck off, Da Vinci. I've taught you everything I can. Now you just have to go out there and win with all you've got. I only wish there was more I could do besides... What? That's not good. One moment. Everything broke. Alright, that was weird. I only wish there was more I could do besides stay here and pray. I almost forgot, Meow. I'm supposed to turn this thing on after I come pick you up. Oh, what's this? Dark Cuckoo and we don't said we don't have to worry about info leaking now that it's time for the finals, Meow. So we set up an official live stream to make sure there's plenty of hype for the final bout. All the fighters that lost, the townspeople placing bets, Sakura... What? All, all the townspeople placing bets, Sakura, forest animals, and so are going to be watching you. So you better make sure to put a good show. Why Sakura specifically? Oh, that's wonderful. Then I'll get to see... I'll get to see you fight for myself while I cheer. And if you just throw in the towel without putting up a real fight, I'll never let you hear the end of it. I know. See you later, coach. Adios, porta hora. Wait. Porta. Porta? Porta. It's porta. Woohoo, it's finally. It's finally the last round. I'm so glad I've been on the Mexican team. I bet every last bit I can afford. I know this is gonna be a great match. I can wait. Yo, Mexicans! Come on, help a fellow Caribbean rep out here. Since we lost in the first round, that's all I got is going for me. I even pawned all my waifu figurines so I could bet more. <sighs> You're betting man too long. Huh? Dreaming about stroking the beach and all being good, boy. The thing about playing bets is win or lose. It's the book that it always comes out ahead. What a shit team. Go, go, Bradamante. You can do it, Bradamante. If you don't, I'm telling his Imperial Majesty and Ronaldo. 
Are you completely incapable of being quiet? You there, vendor! Three plates of dachos. Nacho? Reindeer, master, everyone, good luck. I do not get to speak today. <laughs> did not let me speak. Come back. <laughs> the sound, oh, you give the other two stars fucking for Corolla, but nothing for Samson? Uh, oh, 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 I wonder how this match will turn out. This is bullshit. This tournament has seen a great many battles so far. Villains have feelings. <laughs> Valor has feelings too. Warriors clash, seeking to prove their strength. Some are successful, others are not. We do not waste our times with weaklings. And yet you all lost. In the ring, victory can turn to defeat in an instant. Each fighter's motivation adds to the drama. What team were they? What the hell are those peace signs? No, she's saying they'll finish them off in two strikes. Each and every battle has built to this moment, to the fight to determine who will win it all. I should be really, really, um, reading it as if it's a WWE promo. Stampin', you idiot! So you made it! You bet we did! We're here to defeat you once and for all. Yes, we're going to win. You have to <laughs> steam. You have real fire in your eyes. Good. There is no place for cowardice in this holy combat ritual. Now go into the ring. Pay close attention to how it feels to step over the ropes. Because when we are done here, only one team will have a chance to step back over them. That will be the thing worthy of gaining Santa Claus's total power. Once again, I am Hispanic, and that is supposed to be. <laughs> Ren from Ren and Stimpy. One thing is clear that they're coming this far. You have been pouring magical energy released during this tournament into the Christmas girl, strengthening it. And of course, the fucking thing breaks again. What is going on? Alright, we're back at it. That's why this that's why this tournament will result in a more Santa Santa than ever before. It has nothing to do with the Christmas girl's power. That can only mean you planned this whole ordeal from the start. Why? Why did you want to do this? What? I didn't want to do this. Given who I am, this was something I absolutely had to do. I have no idea what's all this about, but I do know these fighters are both ready and raring to go. And at this point, this Jaguars actually couldn't care less which team wins. The only thing on my mind right now is the stack of delicious meat I was promised for services rendered once this is all over. Look, Quetzal Mask, she really did bring a teammate. They're standing perfectly still, which makes them creepier. We should keep an eye out on them, too. I'm not picking up much from them, actually. In fact, I'm not even sure there's a serpent at all. Hmm? Maybe it's just a golem she brought in to fill the other slot on her team. Just don't let your guard down, and let's focus on the match at hand. Fofo. Fo. Of course, a good knight never lets down her guard. I'll put everything I have into this fight, and I'll make sure we come back with the win. What the hell? I'll dance my heart out to make sure we win too, yes? Only a week has passed since the last since they last faced off, but things couldn't be any more different now. I know you two can win this. In the red corner, representing Mexico. We have the Black Quetzals. In the blues corner, representing Caldea, we have the Quetzal Sisters. Win or lose, laugh or cry, it all comes down to the final match. Let's get ready to jingle. Okay, I'm gonna beat the crap out of the extreme sector. The extremely sexy other half. Ding ding. Now, I did say ruler, so I assume that. Mm, I don't know, actually. I don't know if I have to beat her completely or not. This is going to be real tough. Because she's a ruler. <laughs> uh, I don't have a ruler. Aww. How can she be so evil when she looks so hot? Okay, let's go. Down here. here. We'll do this. 
And... It unfortunately went all through the wrong ones, but whatever, it's fine. That's right. Touch her. Touch yourself, Quetz. 300, huh? <laughs> That's not good. That makes me say that this is not a battle you can win. Get to the guy to see us. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh man, what the hell? No wonder it didn't do anything. Okay, that's an issue. That's a big issue, actually. She literally has an anti quest thing. Well, Rodamante, this is all up to you, bro. Go. Right. Yeah. Go. You got it, girl. Get all the crit stars in the world. Fights that I only have to take down one more. Oh god, of course everything breaks. One moment. Oh, the battle finished! It thankfully really did end that turn. I don't know what's going on. Oh, my Elgato was just going crazy for some reason. Hopefully, I just need it to last until the end of the story. How about that? I should have done a lot more. I know Black Quetzal Mask is an experienced fighter, but something doesn't seem right. My attacks seem to be landing okay, but it's almost as though yours are being repelled. Hey, hey. Took you long enough to figure it out. This is not a trick. It's a simple fact that you cannot possibly beat me in the real fight. Is this what you think it is? Then that's just ridiculously unfair. Do you know what's going on, Da Vinci? Well, we all know that the original Quetzalcoatl is a god of good. But now that there are two of them, well... I think the simplest explanation is that they are manifestations of the goods and evil sides of Quetzalcoatl, who is inherently good. So if the original Quetzalcoatl's innate goodness is shared by both of these Santa servants, then it is possible for the good Quetzalcoatl to hurt the evil one. Quetzalcoatl has never been able to be harmed by anything good, remember? As a servant, I would never... As a servant, I would never demonstrate my superiority over all good unless there was a good re big reason for it. As a servant, I would never demonstrate my superiority over all good unless there was a big reason, though. It's still technically a part of me, but it's not usually something I use, no? And naturally, now that I'm split in half, I don't have my proper spirit origin, I couldn't use my superior goodness even if I wanted to. But it looks like there's just one exception to the rule, myself. I can't deny the goodness inherent in me, even if it belongs to my wicked over half. Now what do we do? So what? No, really? So what? This is the tag team match, and I'm your partner. Just because you can't defeat her doesn't mean I can't. Come on, Quetzal Master, there's no such thing as- There's no reason to hold back. Now let's finish this with our new move. You're right, my attack should work fine. Your attack should work fine. Okay, I'm counting on you now more than ever, yes? The one thing our move lacked was rhythm. See, my passionate rhythm is an essential part of this me. What? My passionate rhythm is, is an essential part of this me. Oh, huh? Oh, I get what you mean. That's really what she said. I can't forget about how... I can't forget about that if I'm going to entrust you with all of my power. So this time, I'm going to launch you the... In time with my samba rhythm, like this. God, really? Again? Okay. Okay. 
so this time I'm going to launch you in time with my somber like that's it we finally perfected our move Neo Beauclair present drop this is really taking it out of me more than anything Huh? It's even stronger than when it was defeated and when it defeated the Russian team. That's gonna that's going to be more than enough to win. No, it's not over yet. She's getting back up. Huh? I see. That is quite the technique. It actually felt threatened for a moment. Bradamante of the Twelve Paladins of Charlemagne, you have earned my respect. My other half alone may have mean no match for me, but the two of you together are indeed a worthy foe. You have earned the right to face me at my full strength. How unfortunate for you that you are unable to finish me in a single strike. It's over. You can blame yourselves for devising a technique that forced you to stop holding back. Come on, Quetzal Mask. If we do it again, we can... You will never get another chance. Come forth, my partner. She's finally unveiling her mysterious partner. Just what sort of fighter are they? Huh? What? Is that just formless power? It is sent. What? Huh? My partner here is my very concept of Santa Claus, extracted directly from the Christmas Grail. Of course, my partner and I have a combination move of our own, even if it only amounts to me wearing it like a cloak. This Santa is nothing like your silly Samba, which wouldn't even exist had it not been for your air-headed mix-up. I finally had the power of true Santa Claus, the true dark Santa. And so, fair knight Bradamante, I am now impervious to your attacks as well. Oh, that's not good. That is bad. Uh, she said she's impervious, so if I pick Brad Monte in... Alright, hold up as I look for a Brad Monte front. Found him! Let's go. She didn't even feel it? I will tell you once more that your attacks will no longer work on me. Why, you ask? Santa Claus is a giver of gifts. Not a target to be attacked. The very concept protects me now. A Santa Claus' spirit can only be defeated by a Santa Claus of equal priority. Hmm, yes, that tracks. Completely clueless. <laughs> But all the Santas we've, been, we've seen before have been... They were the result of servants forcefully altering their spirit origins. Not one of them had the purity I am speaking of. That of course goes for you as well, you absurd Samba goddess. Not that I am honored by my true concept of Santa Claus extracted directly from the Christmas Grail. Only a Santa Claus concept of the same purity can ever hope to touch me. Okay, if it's important to me that you know everything she just said sounds completely ridiculous. Even so, none of your attacks are touching her. Of course they aren't. Everything I have said is absolutely true. Refusing this tournament's magical energy into the concept I wear has created the true Santa Claus. There's no way something so absurd could be... It's the truth. For real, dog. Wow. Ah. Now do you understand? You've lost any chance you have of winning. Quite the call that you can never defeat me as I am now. The only one who could stand a chance is another pure Santa. Bradamante and Gwent Gwent Mask, you have already lost. All because you chose to team up with one another. Whoa. Fo 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 fo. I thought it was gonna be more. This is awful, she's just wailing on him. This is very bad, yes? The Samba rhythm is fading away! <sighs> you can take a lot of punishment, but you must be reaching your limits. This is Lucha Libre. Giving up is always an option. What did you say? Never know. We're still... 
Standing in the ring, not for much longer. <laughs> Quetzal Mask! Giving up now means that you recognize me as the true Santa Claus. It is tantamount to making a wish upon me, an act that will be to your benefit as much as it will be mine. Needless to say, I will be happy to grant your wish I am the true Santa Claus after all. Go on, think back to that day, the day when you lost your power. Say now what you tried to wish for back then. My wish? Well, I wish for world peace, of course. And if possible, to find Ruggiero. Why do you hesitate? You were the first to appear before me, so why shouldn't I grant you a wish? Huh? What do you mean? I first heard some about the correct wishes. It was only afterwards I split off as the evil side in charge of fighting. This means that my essence lies in granting wishes, through battle. That is why I created this tournament. What's more, I did so only for my sake, but for yours as well. As Holy Knight, I believe you were drawn here by the Christmas Grail. I, maybe I was, but what does that have to do with... It has everything to do with this. No wishes can be granted until, until somebody makes one. Without you, I would be not be able to grant any wish at all, even as the true Santa Claus. <gasps> The fact is, you came here to give your wish granted, there's no need to hesitate. Everything you want can be yours. Accept me and Santa has meet defeat. Bow your head in prayer and tell Santa what you want for Christmas. I, I... Mm. I want... To find who I'm looking for myself. By doing this, I know is what I know is right. Eh? But if that was too hard to understand, then I'll put it another way. I am a knight, so I want to find who I'm looking for by walking a path I can be proud of. That path may be long and arduous and muddy, but I think that's exactly why he would be happy to see me. Sure, I could take the easy way out and just let people find him for me, no time flat. I could abandon chivalry and my partner admit to Edwin and my partner admit defeat, beg for help and catch up to him in disgrace. But that would never prove my love for him. I heard you though, didn't you wish to be reunited with him back when you first saw the Grail? Of course, god fucking damn it. All I was asking was, please watch over me while I do my best myself. Getting advice is one thing, but I don't want to or need to be spoiled by someone giving me gifts. Santa of all people should know that. And in case you forgot, my main wish was for world peace. If you want to grant that one, go right ahead. A foolish absurd. Now your wish will never be granted and you will both lose for nothing. We haven't lost yet and we're not going to. As long as we never give up, things will work out somehow. Ah, that was precious. You refuse to abandon your knightly honesty. You are not so foolish as to resign yourself to defeat in the name of Hollow Prime. You simply kept your head up high and never stopped working towards victory, no matter what. I couldn't have chosen a better partner, no? After all, if you're giving up now, the idea I just came up with to turn it around would be wasted. An idea to turn this around? That's just what I wanted to hear. What do I have to do? You, nothing. It's what we have to do. If I can't defeat her myself and Santa is the only one who can, then the answer is simple. We make a new non Quetzal. Santa right here, right now. What? Huh? What is this? It's my Santa power, yes? Go and take it, it's all yours, yes? You can just hand it over that easily? It's shameful of me, really, but we've been together this whole week and I still hadn't given you a present. So now I'm making up for you by giving you the best Christmas present I can, yes? Kuh, no, you're wasting your time. You're just a pale samba obsessed imitation of Santa. Whatever power you have won't be nearly pure enough. You can give her every drop of your Santa power and it still won't be enough to damage this pure scent. You might be right, but if I were only me doing so. Oh, is everyone giving her? 
She may as well have called out to a, called us all. Of, she may as well have called all of us imitation Santas. If it's a fight she wants, then a fight she will have. And you just and just as I had gotten my hands on a twelfth plate of nachos. Is this the Santa spirit bomb? Well, are you sure about this? I'm only lending it to her. Once she is done, I will I will be make sure to reclaim it. But how are you gonna get it from her here? I will throw it to her through television, of course. There's nothing Santa cannot do. Take it, Bradamante. I should do my part too. Here, a present from Santa Claus. I promise it'll be really useful, okay? La. Ho ho ho. Very well then, this will be our little secret. <laughs> Your spirit origin changed. So this is the power of Santa? I don't know about that, but I do know my body feels super light and I've got my armor back. Impossible! Those are only fragments of Santa. This sort of thing has happened to me before. Maybe I'm just blessed. So many kinds of people have helped me out. They're all the reason I kind of keep moving forward no matter what. I never forget how much I still have to learn, but I will continue on anyways. That's who I am. Hey, <laughs> hey. Maybe it's because she's always moving forward that makes people so willing to help her. So thank you, Santa Clauses. I promise I'll use this power for justice. And by that, I mean just this. Once I'm going to beat Santa Bradamante. Just this once, I'm going to be Santa Bradamante. Get ready, Black Quetzal Mask. I'm going to defeat you the Christmas presents you really deserve. Defeat. All right? Now we actually fight her. Oh, is it our tag team maneuver? Oh no, it's hers. Santa docking. <laughs> she lost Santa Claus's support. Jesus, did she get it all here? Muscle power. Okay. Oh, that's another Kaniki Man thing. Okay. Here. Use this. And then go here. Kick her ass, Bradamante. You got crazy buffed, so I sure hope you're able to do it. Oh, she is actually able to. I wonder what happens if you pick double Bradamante. Do both of them just get crazy powerful? Ouchies, ouchies. Alright, I'm gonna go with her again. Seems like a good idea. Yep, good idea. Jesus! Uh-oh. That's bad. One moment. Oh god! Please don't kill me! Oh. Oh. Not strong enough to kill Bradamante, okay. Yeah, never mind, it was. One moment. Alright, back at this now. Okay. Basically, I just made sure to turn on guts on everyone, so we should be good.
Perfect. I don't mind if she beats Quetz. I do mind if she beats Brad Monte. Okay. So I guess you just lose now. Because... She's super powered against you, dude. Use that butt to get used, Brad Monte. Back that thing up right into her face. Okay, perfect. And that, yeah. Next turn we should be able, hopefully able to finish this up. Yeah, she literally can't do enough damage to take this thing out. Just in case. Let's finish this girl. One final butt stomp. Wow, she didn't be- Okay, I know you can beat her. Of course. Be right back. Alright, and continue. I have to be super careful with my phone. I just want to record this video and be done. Gah. Why are you doing this? Even if you win, it would never become the- you would never become the true Santa Claus. That's true, but as long as this whole ordeal ordeal ends and I get my power back, that's good enough. Really, when you stop and think about it, it's awful that all this snow has fallen in Mexico. Christmas or not, there must be... So many people must have had their lives disrupted by all this. Yeah, I'll be happy if I can go back to being regular Santa Claus, yes? I have no interest in becoming the true Santa and keeping Christmas going forever, no? Then you will end up nothing. The true Santa Claus's eternal Christmas would be paradise on Earth. You might even encounter the one you seek there. That's possible. Paradise might just be enough to draw him in. Then why would you refuse? That's easy. It wouldn't be real. Besides, I meant what I said about how I didn't want to be spoiled with gifts. I know I have my weaknesses, and if someone started spoiling me, I end up wholly dependent on them. I'm drawn to the idea of paradise too, but I can't go around chasing illusions just because they seem like they'd be nice. If I flit around too much, I might end up losing what I'm looking for before I can even find it. That sort of thing has happened too much too many times before, so I decided not to let it happen again. What an amazingly earnest knight you are. You are completely aware of your weaknesses and only and let them motivate you to work harder. That's some comfort thing, seeing her like, like seeing the dazzling beauty of human imperfection. It's over. Oh, but seeing as I'm Santa Claus now, and it certainly is a season, maybe I should say... Merry Christmas! One, two, three, that's it. It's over! This long and grueling battle is finally over. The winners of Santa Tag Team Tournament are the Quetzal Sisters. It's over? It's over? I think the only thing left now is the epilogue. Yep, and we're reading it here, man. We're ending it all today. Screw it, man. It's already almost an hour long. <laughs> Oh, 
So at last, one. I know you're side of my I know you're the side of me devoted to combat, which is why fighting was the only option you had. But it's over now. Come back where you belong. What about the Christmas Grail? I'm already a god turned Santa. That present would be much too rich for my blood. Besides, Santa is supposed to give presents, not receive them. No. So how about we just give Bradamante back her original powers, leave the Christmas Grail in Master's hands, and enjoy a nice normal Samba Santa Christmas. Hmm. <laughs> oh, very well. If nothing else, I have to admit that tournament is over. See, I do feel bad about inconveniencing all the others, but the one thing we can both agree on is that nothing beats a heated lucha match. Sorry, everyone, that's just how we gods are, yes? Yeah, fusion dance. Kiss! What? Yay! <sighs> it's really over now, isn't it? Congratulations! Congratulations. Thank you, Wookie, but I generally wouldn't have done it without- God damn it! <laughs> Thank you, Wookie, but I generally couldn't have done it without everyone's help. Thank you all so much. Thank goodness, for a while I was really worried about how things were going to turn out. Eh, <laughs> I never had a doubt. Thinking about- thinking back on it, now, maybe you never needed my coaching in the first place. I'm sure you two would have had no trouble winning on your own power alone. Don't be silly, Coach Martha. I'm especially grateful to you. Honestly, don't know how I could possibly thank you enough for your help. Fo Fo. Of course, I'm grateful for you to you too, Lord Fo. Your adorableness, fluffiness, and nebulous resemblance to Lord Merlin have been a huge boon. Merfo? Fo 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 Fo. Hey guys, check out the sky. Yum. Hey, yeah, the sunshine's already melting the snow. Now the people here will finally get to enjoy a normal Christmas. Oh, maybe not entirely normal. Full? What? It's snowing again. What's going on? I thought Black Quetzal Mask was responsible for the strange weather. If it's still happening even after you beat her, does that mean her the real mastermind is... No, no, nothing like that. This is the real actual snow, yes? Huh? It's just a little fluke of nature that happened to give Mexico snow for Christmas. It's also a present from the sky offering its blessing to the warriors after their battle. What I mean is, it's a miracle, yes? I see, I guess things like this do just happen sometimes. I hate to rain while well, snow on your parade, but this isn't the first time Mexico has gotten snow, you know. That said, as timing goes, this is definitely kind of miraculous. I won't deny it. Not to say I wouldn't come up with a plausible scientific reasoning for all this, of course. For example, maybe all that sweat you flew off the fighter's body somehow ended up forming snow clouds. Well, I guess this is goodbye. I don't know if I'll go back to the throne and continue my journey somewhere else, but I have to keep looking. It's who I am. We'll, we'll miss you. So it's finally time to disband the team, huh? We'll miss you. Still, you never know. Maybe our paths will cross again one day. So maybe I'll get to see you again. That's true. That could very well happen. If we meet again, you may have forgotten my fighting styles, but I'm sure your soul will remember. You and I will always be comrades in arms. If you never need my help again, don't. He if you ever need my help again, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you, my wonderful partner. Next time, I'll be sure to make a mask for you too, okay? Oh, uh, thank you. May you be blessed wherever your path takes you. I say that as a goddess. I say that not as a goddess, but as a friend. <laughs> I appreciate that. If you had blessed me as a goddess, I know I'm just... <laughs> oh, shit. No, what did it say? <laughs> I appreciate that, but if you had blessed me as a goddess, I know... I'll I appreciate that. If you had blessed me as a goddess, I know I'm just immature enough that I'd have ended up depending on it too much. Okay, no more sappy goodbyes. From here on, I'm sending you off with a happy samba rhythm. Okay. Yeah, one last time. <laughs> it's all worth it, man. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, everyone. Actually, I think this will work as a farewell, too. 
After all, I was Santa Claus for a while. Okay, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful sight. Ah, Rick Ariel. If only you were here to see this with me. Hope that one day I'll get to tell you all about this. The snow that fell on an ancient pyramid out in the jungle. Then again, maybe you're seeing it too. Even as I speak, wherever you are. It wouldn't be the first time we've unknowingly passed each other after all. Bet that one day, this will all be another story we laugh about together. Ooh. Okay, that's enough of that, Meow. There's still cleanup to do. Even after she's gone, Black Cuckoo's still running this Jaguar ragged, but this cat's gotta do her job if she wants to get paid. Guess I'll start by taking down this tournament panel. Hup, hup, hoo. Oh, come to think of it, we never did the whole thing where we give the winner flowers, did we? Guess I'll have to break out my official Jaguar stamp of approval instead. There we go, gotta say though, we sure had a ton of teams compete, didn't we? Of course, ours was still the wildest and most popular. Remember, winning isn't everything. Okay, what's next on the double to do this? You know, as hard as I had to work, I think I might need to invoice Cuckoo for triple the meat she promised. Hmm. Poor Jaguar. Some panels are soon forgotten after the role has been fulfilled. Some are engraved with records detailing the battles that were fought there. If no one left to look at them, there's no way there's no way to tell what they say. Who compel who competed in this tournament? Which teams fell to which opponent? Which heroes took the ring for the African team? At this point, nobody knows. Of course, even if the young knight had been the had seen the name she was searching for there, she may have just said, I didn't even notice, so there was actually another miracle at work here, huh? Too bad I missed him. And laughed it off. She would certainly not lose heart so much that she would abandon her search. Such despair would not even enter her mind. While she does see, wish to see him again, her feelings will remain the same whether she finds him or not, because she knows that their love will endure forever. In the meantime, the young knight in love trusts in her feelings and her sense of justice, and continues to put one foot in front of the other, regardless of what lies ahead. Whoa! And that is the end, and this is it. <laughs> one last time, I will now do the Samba voice. As I fully unlock her, I think. Yay, holy award. Close. Oh no, I guess I don't fully unlock her. Oh well. I did fully unlock her, but... What? I should have her somewhere. Either way, thank you very much, everyone, for joining me for this one. This is the end. This is the final. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the read-along. This specific episode was sure a, hell, sure a hell of a hassle to record, so I hope you enjoyed the, all the effort I put into it, I guess. Until next time, everyone, you guys have a good day, and Merry Christmas. That too. And if you don't celebrate, Merry Good Day to you. Goodbye, and see you next time.